Richard, I presume? Hi, I'm Chenzi. Pleased to meet you. I'll be your guide on the facility tour. Spare me the pleasantries. I've had an awful flight. Nine hours delayed, luggage lost somewhere along the way, and the airline is trying to avoid their responsibility. I'm hungry and I'm tired, and I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing your tour. Yes, so sorry about your flight. Just let me know when you're ready. So, someone is here for a tour of the facility. Might be a way to get in. Hey. Oh, did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. What's the It's P -41? procedure. Please pick it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. Okay, find the P-41. Okay. Got a document or something? Almost sounds like a gun. What's going on in that noodle place? It's three in the morning. And I swear I've seen at least four chefs hey, turning up for there. work. I think you might underestimate the power of a late night noodle bar. You up for grabbing some? Need to grab it. Um, well, I guess I can go there. The Somewhere we can go. Oh. Not again. Yeah. Well, um, I guess I can go all the way up, then down. Yeah, by the way. You are not allowed here. You have to leave now. I'm getting help, and you can't. All right. Ah, oh, my knee is so sore. Why is that? Did I save after it? Sure, how far that was. Hungry and I'm tired. And I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing your tour. Yes, so... So, someone is here for a tour of the facility. Might be a way to get in. Sorry about your flight. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. It's Security. procedure, huh? Please pick Good. it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. Ready? Try this again. What's going on in that noodle place? It's three in the morning. Hey, and I swear I've seen there. at least four chefs turning up for work. I think you might underestimate the power of that. There we go. Now we go all the way up. Then go down again. If you gonna talk like that, you can go alone. Um wait. Right, I'm allowed in here. And I can go down here. There we go. Oh. Hello, Mr. Pritchard. 
I've just learned that your plane will be delayed beyond the lifetime of the entry code you received for the facility. For your convenience, we've set up the new code to be 0118 to match the one for the apartment. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, Jenting here. Mr. Pritchard, I'm just calling to tell you to bring your P41 for the facility tour. Thank you. Mr. Pritchard, I just read your report and share your concerns regarding facility leadership behavior. I fully back your decision to inspect, and I would appreciate updates on your initial findings as they come in. Good job. Oh, you got new menus. I had no idea. Uh, do you still have the... Uh, sorry, what? Right, yeah. Uh, just some sparkling water is fine. So, do you... Oh, <laughs> Right here. Yeah, so I'd like to get some soup dumplings. Right, sorry, yeah, with the crab. Uh, and how about some of those... Shit, what are they called? The, the crispy ones? Yes, those. Perfect. You know what? I'll get a double order and uh, a plate of the pork bao buns. Okay. Uh... B forty one four. Right there. Disguise yourself as the board member. Okay. I imagine we need to poison him. And I know where we can Dying find some to know poison. What the inside of that room's like. You can tell everything about it. Right there. Okay. I've put off asking this for long enough. I... How was it? Mm. I want to know everything. What? Did you get to see the lights? Tell me. There you go. Okay. I assume that we need it. Well, I guess I also have to change the skies in one of those guys. I can poison his food, right? Let it. Oh, there's poison right here. Wow, okay. Um, like this? Okay. Okay. We go. Put him in here. This guy's a dumpling cook, apparently. Then. Hey there, you can go right in. How am I supposed to focus the when the kitchen feels like a He went like straight to the station. restaurant. Find your inner Guess what, zen. Hungry after the nine hour flight Close your eyes I'll give him the and tour focus your mind on a discretion bonus yeah, on the I'll paycheck. I'll keep you updated. Sure thing. That's what I do. That is a calming bonus. Um. Can I make his dinner? Is that this? Dish? I can make something. Ping here. Mr. Pritchard is in the restaurant. I don't know when he'll be ready for the tour, but yeah. I'll wait for him here. No, he's lost his luggage and wants to handle that part. Of course. Ta -da. Thank you. Extra special spices. And it's done. Ta -da.
<laughs> yep, it's done. Uh, Hoi Mei, could you check my desk for me? I can't remember if I closed this file on it, and I don't want it to be just laying there if the VIP wants to inspect it. Yeah, well, I'm telling you to go have a look. Hey, you don't want me to mention your attitude to Royce, do you? Hmm, good. Boy. Okay, um, this is definitely bad. Oh. Come on, no need to hold it back. In here, right? Mom, you can't call me when I am at work. I'm ready to inspect the facility now. Good. I hope you enjoyed the food. Did you bring the P41 we left for you in the apartment? Yes, I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have. Without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. You see, the restaurant is in fact a front that lets all ICA personnel arrive unseen. Who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously, as you will see on all steps of the tour. He's going to pull it in. All right. Come on, it's this way inside. Doesn't look like much, does it? Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular bill that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible MO. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order but have people in place to rectify that. At first shift, city construction will move in. Hmm. Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a frisk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. How much do you Could I please have your P41? Stand there. Check pocket. Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. It'll just be a few moments, so feel free to have a look around. I'll meet you on the other side of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard. Okay. In that case... ...with the rest of us. If you use your camera, you can hack that Security panel. Security protocol overruled. I guess I can just leave it. Did I? All right, for the other guy. Yeah, already dropped my gun. 
Hey there. Oh. Hey there. I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. I'll get right on. Oh. All right. Thank you for your cooperation. Please continue. You're welcome. Good, you're here. I've started the security clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without your authorization. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. Yeah, that doesn't feel... As I said, personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Let's step inside. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Pritchard? It should be here shortly. Shit. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. You've got 60 seconds before all hell breaks loose. Um. By one of those, or. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was thinking of blinding it, but I thought that's the other way. I don't need it, but yeah. <laughs> I think I need, I, I think I do. I think it's safe. Because I didn't save later on. No. Good, you're here. I've started the security clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without your authorization. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. As I said, personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Pritchard? It should be here shortly. Okay. Shit. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. You've got 60 seconds before all hell breaks loose. Security protocol overruled. Good, I'm in. And you're safe. That was a close one. Perfect timing. Your clearance just came through. Let's continue. Let's step inside. Okay. I'm thinking about getting some so, of those glasses. So, as you see, we are very serious about security. What we protect is, after all, no, no, core no to all ICA operations. 
We and we alone store all legal work, contracts, target profiles, employee files, contract documentation and validation, and so forth. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics of personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting, target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operatives. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task. And on top of that, we have a dual human authentication process set up. All access and alterations to the source are authenticated. Oh, good. There she is. That's Imogen Royce. Hi, Imogen Royce. Quite the bitch, apparently. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Nothing wrong Likewise. with her work, though. Edgy. After you. Okay. This is the blast and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily call maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. Yikes. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the call room. The doors to the call room are all equipped with... <sighs> you know what, screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cunning to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You have a sixth sense for irregularities. And although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart, you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. Having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss low cost just how i like it i've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro targeted surveillance of defining target markers and my results are astounding all this state of the art is nothing but heavy old-fashioned machinery compared to what i offer analysts preparing detailed files dedicating days weeks to prepare our contracts gone handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen. All of it gone. I okay. asked you to imagine that scenario. But what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've set up a little demonstration today, for you. Three employees unaware that I can accurately predict their behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt, the guard in the lower left is as tough as nails when on duty, but in private, he's a real mummy's boy. If fired, he will immediately call his mother and at her advice, seek out who he considers his best friend for support. My personal guard, as it stands. Me? Really? Well, that explains why he's always next to me at lunch. At the top right, you see Alicia Reynolds. Bright and very passionate about her job. However, also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. 
Specifically, that means she will try to enter the call room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. I will have a closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Mm -hmm. Thought I'd just mention it. She really takes the term God complex to a whole new level. Sitting in there pulling the strings like that. I think you should take her setup and give it a spin, 47. I see potential if you time it right. Yeah, like her. But she will disable the security. Yeah. If fired, there is a 98% chance that she will try to disable safety mechanism in the core room. Yeah. And then I can just press the button, right? Go look for his friend. That's the bodyguard. I can can I just fire them all? Yeah, fire them all. Because he will press the core maintenance button. But don't we need to wait before C is in here? Right? Let's wait for it. It's there. Go into Yep, into the core. So is he going in? He's inside. Jeremy Bolt. I regret to inform you that code forty one is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Code 41 is confirmed effective for your employment status. Oh, God. This is not good. This is not good. Alicia Reynolds. I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. He's still there, right? Yeah. He's leaving. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go see him then. Please hurry. Okay, I'll call you later. Yeah, she already left. But he can yeah. Exactly. I have to wait till she's back, right? Do I know that safety is on? She's right there. I see her in bottom right. She's done. Did I need to do that qu more quickly? Is that it? I don't know where she is going. Hopefully, she comes, she goes through it again.
What do you mean, no? You want to go in there? Am I too late? Oh, she's here already. I think we were a little too late. I think we need to reload, then do everything very fast, I guess. Okay, great. Oh, bad enough losing the job. I don't want to lose my best buddy, too. He's there. She's going again. So the body... Yeah, she's alone now, right? Yeah. Hopefully she should go to the core again. Security is disabled now. She doesn't have a bodyguard, so she will be alone. Sharon Reed, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. There you go. Good. And That's done. those targets down. I just need to override this, and I'm in. You can get out now, and I can take care of the data remotely. Unless you want to handle it yourself. Oh, locate the exit. Exit. Oh, we don't need that. All right? Ah, uh, body. It was an accident. Really? Wasn't fair. Hey, someone help me. Hey, are you even aware of what's going on? What's going on here? What happened? I think the earth is going down. You have to do something. Thanks for your help. I'll report your information. Command, Loud command. You. you there? There's been an accident. Ooh, that's a There's no way you're getting through that door 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. No worries. We are leaving. Access granted. We're done here. Bodyguard to follow you at the door. Well, he doesn't. He didn't even know I was that I left already. No worries. Hey, it's me. Sorry to wake you up, but I think I forgot to turn off the coffee machine when I left. Hey. Um. Gonna go. Let's see. Just in case. Uh, I assume I can just walk out, right? Yeah. Um, we can go that way. Yo. Yo.
There we go. Yeah, too bad about the silent assassin rating. It was obvious an accident, right? Oh well. We turn now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world. The so-called ICA files. The disclosure of a you win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered, he is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me.